The Contact 5 investigators have been trying to get speed data from Palm Tran since last November. As you can see, that's when we sent in our original public records request. We do process reporting, so we show everything that we do. Like it we wasn't until April when the people who run the bus system sat down with us about that request. Mike, could you do me a favor and pull one up? And we discovered their computer system does track how fast buses are going every 90 seconds. There is a report that you can get. It's called replay. After spending more than four months and $200 on documents, we got a hold of three hours of data from Palm Tran's busiest route, Route 1, along Federal Highway. Next to each speed, there's a latitude and longitude that shows where that speed was recorded. We plotted those points on the computer to find out where each bus was at the time. And we hit the road to match those locations to the speed limits on Route 1 to determine if the buses were following the speed limit. That led us to discovering 15 out of 19 buses during that time period were speeding, according to the data, at some point on the route. Do you look at speed reports daily? No. Why no. Not? If it's there at your disposal, why not? Because if we printed out every route and by time of day for every trip, we would be inundated with paper and not only would it, be, I'm not sure it'd be worth the effort, but it would be, uh, I, I don't have the staff to do that.